Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 17th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Uh, pretty uh, consistent, relentless march upward in yield. What was driving the markets? Yeah, so the, the, the moves in the curve, we saw anywhere from 8 to 15 basis points of cheapening across the curve, and that's following the curves in the in the Treasury, the, the yields in the Treasury curve. So it was nice to see that happening. In the secondary, we saw some lower coupon structures get back to or close to a 5% yield, which is not something that we've seen yet this year. So that was a pleasant uh, surprise for us to see. And all of that driven by uh, both the, the fallout from last week's stronger than expected jobs report, and then some uh, hotter than expected numbers on inflation this week. Yeah, I mean, the inflation numbers were a little bit higher than expected, but I think that there's a lot priced into the market and a lot of uncertainty. So we're going to kind of see what happens uh, going forward. And definitely some hawkish comments from Fed officials this week, people saying that the uh, the pace of uh, interest rate uh, uh, increases, while it may be uh, more moderate, 25 basis points per meeting is going to go on for a while. Agree. You see some people saying 25, then you see some people calling for more 50 basis point increases. So I think it's going to be a kind of wait and see kind of situation. So in the primary market, how did that translate? Uh, this week was uh, the busiest in a couple of weeks for the mini market. We have not seen a calendar this big uh, in the past few weeks, so it's been nice. Uh, I think it was upwards to $8 billion. It was a pretty active week for BAM as well. We had $180 billion, million worth of deals priced last week. Last week, there were 18 series across seven states, so that was some nice diversity there. Um, there was $80 million of a Twin River USD in California that took price across two series. Those were negotiated sales with Raymond James. Uh, McKinney County, New Mexico also priced a negotiated sale with RBC. That was for $19 million. And then there was a AA3 competitive sale for the North Fond du Lac School District in Wisconsin that was bought by Huntington Security. So that was a great one to come into the BAM portfolio. And next week's calendar is probably a bit of a wait and see situation. Uh, total calendar for the markets down back below $4 billion. It is a holiday shortened week. Uh, no trading on Monday because of President's Day. Um, and a couple of those transactions are refunding. So we'll see if they're still in the money. Right. So the calendar, like you said, is a little bit lower than it has been in the past few weeks. I think it's still below the trailing averages for this week of the past few years. Um, of that roughly $4 billion, two deals actually make up 20% 20, 20 of that, 20 to 25% of that calendar. We're seeing New York City Geo come with six, almost $700 million, uh, which is a big chunk of that. So um, the there isn't a ton of activity next week, but we hope to be active in the competitive space. Very good. Well, we'll, uh, we'll call you next Friday and see what's going on. Thanks Great. for your time. Thanks, Mike.